Okay, so good morning everybody and once again welcome back in today's class. Hope you're doing good and well and we're on the day number four. So now the question term, before we start any implementation, what is important for us? And we call this as data. And this data is called the foundation data. This was the question has been asked to me in one of the interview. I guess four or five years back somewhere. That if you need to be start or you need to be implement. Any platform, any tool. It's not only service now, any tool like. Service now, Jira, SAP, Salesforce, any tool. What is the most important part? Or what is the first thing you have to do? So the point come that the first and important point is foundation data. What do you mean by the word foundation data? Let's say I take this part. Okay. Okay. I say guys. Fill this form. In this form, I have a field called gender. I have field called uh, ah, so, okay, gender and qualification. Okay. Gender is a drop down value, and I put in the gender. BA, BCOM, MCOM. And in qualification, I mention male or <clears throat> what do you take on this part? Atul, that's the wrong value. It should be vice versa. Right? Gender must contain the value called male and female. And qualification must contain the value called BA, BCOM, and MCOM. How you can say this part? Because you know from your understanding. In the same manner, when we try to be implement service now, okay, then we need to be see what values are coming in this field. Because foundation data is the one which help us to drive the process as well. In the category, have you seen any any other value or like a very odd values? In the category, we see like hardware, software issues, network issues, or database issues. So the importance is that before you build, before you implement any platform, your foundation data is required to run that particular part. These are two things. One is called foundational data, foundation data, and second is called transactional data. Foundation data is the one which gets stored and stay for ages. Right? Transactional data, I give you an example. Let's say I purchase a new house. In the new house, I set up dining table, sofa, new bed, wardrobes, computer table, straight table, and other things. And other part is called transactional data, which work on day in, day out. Like in the kitchen, we have a sugar, tea bags, we have a other like a sp spices, dals, or flour, fruits, vegetables. These are the transitional data. Why? Because as soon as it's get over, you have to fill it. But will you buy the bed, furniture, sofa, dining table every day? No. That work for ages, at least four, three, four, five years, seven years, eight years, that will be used. 
This is what is here in the foundation data. So whenever we build it, we ask to the customer, OK, give me your foundation data. Tell me how many users you have. What value of user you are storing as of now? Name, first name, gender, manager, department, cost center. What else? What role a user have? How many departments you have in your company? How many locations you have for your company? How many groups you have, group members you have? Because these things drive my process. Like we give example yesterday, right? Someone called to mechanic and say, hey, something is not working at my house. Mechanic says, what is not working? Something is not working. Or take the other example. I call to mechanic and say, and mechanic says that, who are you? I am a human being. No, that's fine, but who are you? Who are who are who are you do who are calling me? I am a human being. But I must put say my name that hey, I am Atul, and I have this issue. Can you help me on this particular part? That who are you is nothing but is a foundation data. Is my user data. Let's say I get a call from Anish. Hi Atul, I am this side. Who is this side? I am this side. No, oh, oh that's fine. But who is, what is your name? I am this side. My name is Anish. Okay, Anish, why? Fine. From where are you calling? I'm calling from Earth. Oh, come on. I know that it's from Earth only. But what is your location? So that I should know that I should greet you like a good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How I should treat you. So that is the called the foundation data. If your foundation data is not good. Then your system is going to be messed up. So like, like taking this example. If I say OK gender, I put BA, BCOM, MCOM slash male and female as well. Do you think that it is a good data? It's not a good data. The good data is like this. This is a good data. Because now you know that gender either male or female and qualification either BA, BCOM or MCOM. Clear funda yaha pe ki problem statement kya hai hamara. That why we are emphasizing on foundation data. Believe me, if your foundation data is garbage, your process is going to be hit very badly. That's true. Because it is it is well saying. Garbage in garbage out. What happened generally? Let, let's say I was working with a customer. And they are migrating from X tool to service now. I said, OK, good. I said, can you give me your user data? They said what you need. I need user name, user ID, department, cost center, gender, photo, email ID, phone number. These seven or eight field I needed. What they did, they go to the previous tool, take a dump and give it to me. Now what I will do as a consultant? Some some responsibility lie with me. What I need to be do? Right. My responsibility is that before I put that data in service now, I have to make sure that I cross check the data completely. Let's say that is a small company, only 500 users. I see the data. Out of 500 approximately, 70% user don't have any department allocated. They are working in a department, but their actual data is not in the system 40% user 
has a wrong phone number. Seven digit, eight digit, nine digit without code, country code. Now, what do you think that shall I bring that data in service now? Two options. I can bring it and close my task. But if I bring this data in service now, and when we go live, customers say, hey, why not able to see the department of this user? I will say that boss, you did not give me. And then I have to recite re re everything. So better, I will say, boss, I saw your data. In your data, these things are missing and I need these things should be there. There is a concept in CMDB that is called the three C's. Complete, correct and compliance. So if you bring the wrong data, garbage data, incomplete data, inconsistent data in service now. So you can imagine that what's going to be happen with your processes because tomorrow if you run a report, I need a report of the user who are working in the department finance. You get a zero result. But you will say no, practically people are working in the finance department. Why not always find out? Because you don't have a data of that particular thing. It means the person who brings the data in service now, he did not check or verify the data before putting into the service now. This is what we call garbage in and garbage out. And it is a best practice whenever you are implementing service now as a fresh or you are migrating it to the service now. Spend a good time on the data level. Now the question comes, Atul, how this data come in service now? There are few ways. You can use Active Directory, that is AD. We can use the any HR system, which is used by company. We can bring it on the Excel sheet and import it. We can create it manual or maybe some legacy system we can do the integration. But Atul, you are experienced holder, you know everything. How I can do this particular part? How I know that I have to be go by this manner or this manner or someone thing like this. So now we are going to be do in a service now. This is my PDI. Personal development instance. You can get your own PDI as well and I request please get your own PDIs so that it is easy for you to be do the practice. And then go here. And click on the. Get it set up of. ITSF. Because we're implementing the. ITSF. When you purchase a new phone. And you open the phone first time. How it work? It show me a wizard. Enter your email, select your language, set your password, set your face, face IDs. Do you want to bring it everything from your old phone? If you say yes, it work in the background. This is what called the guided setup. In the same manner, service now say, I'm here to help you. Don't worry. I can show you the complete guided setup and you just click next or next and do your configuration. Your work will be done. So here we will see that how I can implement service now for a customer. They says before you go for the guided setup, you have to be create the update sets because you are going to move it from one instance to the another instance. First thing. Second, you need to be do the platform branding. Means, can I change this image? Can I change the color? Can I change anything else? Can I put my company name here? That is one thing. That is called the platform branding. Company logo change karna default. There are times you can do it. Then email setting. I want that in the customer instance, I can send the email, I can receive the email. So we need e email account setups. Then the LDAP. I don't want to create my users again and again manually. 
I am saying that if anybody joining my company, I will create his or her account in my ED. It can be on premise, on premise. It can be a Azure. It can be anything ED tool. And then from ED, I can bring it into the service now. So we can do the LDAP integration in the servers. And then if required, we can go for the SSO configuration as well. This is what is the pre check that you need this information before you start. If you see some time, let's say you're filling any form for any college, any exam. Before you click on the start, there's a page come. While filling this form, we need your photo. We need the uh, photocopies or the, or the scan copies of your documents, your digital signature and other things. Please keep it handy. And after that, start filling the form so that in the in between, if you need something, you can quickly browse and you can add in that particular part. You don't need to be go and hold it or put in the save as a draft and then come back after one day or two days. See, so these things are pre checklist, but Atul, what is the actual part? So update set were not going to be created because that is not the part of uh, this particular stuff. This covered in the admin. Uh, this is admin part. Branding and all things like logos and all you must have text. You have email settings again. Go there only. Now click on this. Get started. And here you can see a list of tasks. So you can see here like get started. Company detail information. Connectivity. Foundation data. This is what our main area. About as soon as you open the phone, let's say we are we are IT people, we are techies. But think about our parents who are in the age of 70, 80. If you give them a smartphone now, it is tough for them to be even open and configure everything as a fresh. So they need something. A wizard kind of things. Right, so first of all, so and, and this is a PDI. It means you can give a trial here. You can click on this, get started. It has two tasks, system configuration and welcome page. As it is a PDI, so if you don't want to do anything, you can click mark as a complete. But if you want, you can click on the configure. What is my company name? So these things. Service now and other things you can see here, right? I can put. LNG part shala, let's say at a section. You want to add some image, you can add it like this one banner image. Let's say I go there and I want to add this image. You want to change date format? These are system properties, you can do it. And then click on the save. Sometimes it takes time to be reflect. Here I change one time. Let me reload it. So you can see this has been changed and image has been changed. So this is the basic configuration we're doing it. Chalo, Atul, ye to hoga. So these are the system level properties. Which you can see theme, navigation, color and all things you can do it. Now let's come back here on the guided setup again. Are, are, ye na? But the problem is me. ITSM. Every time it do this only. <clears throat> OK, then get started. So let's say I completed my company information. Let me click on this and say yes, it has been completed. Then it says about welcome page. If you want to customize the login page, you can do it. So you can click here configure and you can do this. Let's say I'm going here. 
so i can create my own customized page and say okay welcome all these things from adimkana you can do this particular part but yes here we need little bit information from the developer as well because it's like a coding part here okay now i am done this part mark as a complete this is what your homework now if you get your pdi i prefer to do this particular part at your side okay now come to this connectivity it says email property ldap and sso nay as of now i have no information about email sp sso sso or ldap so i can do it later on leave it this is what is our core area now foundation data and let's say get started total seven task has been given here number 1 we need a department information number 2 we need a location information we need a company information and we should go by this sequence only that is the another point we should go by this sequence only so that it is easy for us and there should be there should not be any conflict now come for the department so what it say okay before it go what it say let me do one thing see what they're saying you can assign this job assign this work to anybody assign all task like say okay department task i want to be assigned let's say i want department task will be completed by the deepasha location task will be done by the david lu now anish atul mera naam kyun nahi hai yahan pe because we did not create your account as of now we are a system admin when i per, when i get a instance for my customer before i create customer account there are few admin accounts for the developers so we can assign this task to them or if you want no no i am a, i am the only admin here i want to do everything take care remove kar dete hain koi problem nahi hai and come back here now this thing department i'll open this thing in the another window as well department is important before we start implementing so company has been done company configuration has been done and now we are the department part so department can be your finance legal hr it any kind of a department how you can bring the department in service now so what generally we do as the admin i'm saying as of now my customer has no login credential in the instance i am a service provider i ask service now can you create my account and give me the credentials and make it me admin so that i can add everybody else now the same question i told to you guys we need to be get the data of department can you give me template anish says yes atul department department name or department head dinesh says atul department name id or head sumit said department name id or primary contact Vasim says, "Department and ID will work, but that is a incomplete data, incomplete columns, incomplete attributes. So to avoid this problem, what Service Now says, if you have these issues, go to the table, Department here." and this is the table called cmn underscore department we should know 
by heart at least these seven tables name in service now these seven tables name we should know that what is the table name of user table user record what is the table name of company what is the table name of department what is the table name of location it is not that atul mai to i am not a uh, what i can say developer so why should i know no these table names are like a quick navigator point for us so what service now says how to get the data from the customer go to the table right click and import atul import kyu kar rahe ho export karna chahiye nahi import and insert and create excel template theek hai what it is going to be do for me download thoda sa heavy rehta hai ye because it has a little instructions as well open and go to page number 1 this information this excel sheet you need to be sent to the customer that boss i need now the question come what is be mandatory to create this department see now i am not going on that basic level i know that i am a admin in service now i am using service now implementing service now for a long time so i know that for a department i need minimum business unit so what we do generally what we do business unit cost center department head and department name bhaiya these are the four important parameters i need it immediately if you did not fill the description still why if you did not fill the handout fill still fine but if you did not fill the name of the department it will not work for me this is what happen in the workshops where we take our customer on this excel sheets as well let's say sumit open a new company he is very new in the industry it industry and he approach to anish anish i want to be implement service now and i hear that your company has a good implementations yeah sumit we we have a good implementation can you implement service now for me why not and then anish hire me and say atul can you go and talk to sumit employees and implement service now then i will tell them these things guys we need your foundation data acha wo kya hota hai wo ye hota hai okay how i can give it to you in a email no no not not in the email i am giving you a standard format i will highlight the few fields which is required minimum required to create a department record so this is the way to get this part atul what is that id id is like your department id like um, d1001 d002 d003 to make okay. it a unique like if i say hr department is very big but in the hr we have a sub department sometime hr talent acquisition hr finance hr policies hr procedures hr escalations kind of these things so department id is a unique one like we have a roll numbers right we have a registration numbers in the same manner we have a department ids as well to differentiate theek hai yeah to this part let's say i share this date this excel sheet with the customer and they give me the updates this is okay business unit is let's say lng cost center lng 1 2 3 department head anish and uh, now uh, actually can you uh, can you highlight on the cost center part what are the scenarios okay 
cost center is basically actually someone put this question yesterday in the community as well. Cost center is basically to track the financials of that particular department. Like if I say that you're working in a company every Friday, you charge your timesheet, right? WBS, you have a WBS and you charge your time in the timesheet. Yes. Eight hours, nine hours. Yes. For you, it's a WBS. But think that in your team, 20 people are there. In that project, 200 people are there. 200 people have a different, different WBS. If it's a development, so your WBS is different. I'm in testing, my WBS is different. Someone else in other department, other team, WBS is different. But how the department will know that how much we are earning or expenses from this one? So at the top level, they have a cost center. It is a code which helps to track the financials specifically. If you if you see some time, let's say you are a new joiner, and if you're enough lucky, you can see in your joining form, maybe the day you join company, they says there's a field called cost center and HR says, guys, don't feel, we will feel it for you. So how they feel? Because they know that every department has a cost center associated. Your onboarding, offboarding, your travels, high level will be tracked by the cost center level only. So for the financial purpose, we have a cost center that how I going to be see how much amount has been spended earned by this department. Income plus expense, expense, um, expenditure both have been tracked here. Financials part, but this information also stays in the some different table as a well, cost center table as well. If you have perceived as a reference, if I come back here, let me say. Come here and go back. Click new. Okay, let me bring that. Oh, configure and form layout. Let me bring cost center. And save. So now you can see it is a reference field. And from where it is becoming. It is on the CM, CMN department table and is referred to the cost center table. So it is just a record we'll be adding it here. It means before you enter any value here, customer enter any value here, we have to be enter the cost center table as well. We have to, be, we have to be put this value in the cost center table as well. If I show you. So in this we have these records. What is the name of the cost center? What is the account number code? Which location is we driving? Who is managing it? Valid from valid to every year. My WS get change. Why? Because every year the cost center get closed and new cost center has been created in the background. <coughs> so this is for the financial purpose. We have this. We said that this year 100 rupees has been allocated to this department. But how this allocation will be tracked? Not by the department names. It has been tracked by the cost center name. In 100 rupees, five employee travel for a KT. 80 rupees is spent. It. Two people of wood did. We saved 20 more rupees. So now 40 rupees are 20 rupees and 20, 20 rupees we save it now. We got a new deal for this department. Now we have a 200 rupees on the budget. So 
cost center will work in that manner. Mainly it is for the project management and other life cycles for the financial perspective. We track it here. So once we get this information to now we have to bring it in the service now. So we can bring. So what you can do, you can. Create via transform map. So like this we have. Or you can create it manually. Let's say customer says I just have five departments. ठीक है फिर एक्सेल शीट में आप डेटा दे दो मैं मैन्युअली क्रिएट कर दूंगा मैन्युअली मीन्स आई गो हेयर एंड फिल दिस पार्ट वन डिपार्टमेंट आई डी दिस दिस सेकंड डिपार्टमेंट आई डी दिस 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 थर्ड डिपार्टमेंट आई डी दिस दिस आई कैन डू इट बट इफ वी हैव मोर डेटा फाइव रिकॉर्ड्स यू कैन स्टिल क्रिएट सेवन रिकॉर्ड्स यू कैन स्टिल क्रिएट एट रिकॉर्ड्स यू कैन स्टिल क्रिएट बट इफ आई से गाइस आई हैव 500 डिपार्टमेंट्स कैन यू क्रिएट इट मैन्युअली अतुल वो नहीं होगा so for that we can use the transform map trick so once we complete the transform map my department will be loaded here then the step number 2 all the things means for a transform map it is the same steps perform data transfer and finally the data will be in the service now so i can mark as a complete that okay i am done this particular part but for you it is a homework download the dip, this excel sheet then fill at least four four or four five values and then do it i am marking as a complete now same thing goes for the location and location sit in the cmn location table user admin locations here yeah. but location means now let's say that i am implementing service now for a banking customer and they have the atm machines as well now imagine a bank who has a atm machines how many places they have atm machines in a let's say dinesh in a copenhagen now he see that a bank which is using has a five let's say 20 different atm machines in the 20 different location do so we have to be create those location in service now because tomorrow if someone there is a complaint that atm machine in this postal code is not working so that i can send my engineer but before that i should have that address in my system so service now say you can create your locations as well location name street city state zip code country and this will get auto generated so that you can track it like i can say copenhagen or um, postal code s9 hyphen road number hyphen shop number c hyphen s9 hyphen 121 hyphen 124 this is what my location id so that tomorrow i am i am not in the position that i can open the complete record by seeing this i can say i i was reading some post yesterday day before yesterday that when you purchase any car or any any vehicle on the tires there some number has been mentioned like w then slash 165 167 slash w or l and then number is there that has a code actually if you we all from the india and we travel in the trains in the out of out of the train bogey there is a number has been mentioned 2410867 like this so that is a that is meaning a code is there the first two digit indicate something then other three digits indicate something in the same manner we have to create a location like this if limited locations 
<coughs> you can get it here. But if it's more than that, better use the Excel sheet format. Send it to customer boss. Yeah, but can do with that phone console locations. Contact information, phone number, parent, any like now I am staying in an area S9. In S9, I have a S91, S92, S93. So S91, S92, S93, three different records, but the parent is S9 only. That I can do. I can put latitude and the longitude as well. Right? So this is the second part. What do we do? But it's stored in the table called CMN location table. Same process. Go here, download the Excel format and fill the detail. As of now, there's a no violation of the latitude and the longitude. You can put anything in this particular part. That's the thing. And same step you have to follow here. Transform map and do it. And once you're done, click on the configure. So the sorry, click on the mark as complete, not configure. Check. So are you worried? Yeah, mark as complete. Okay, so by this way, we can proceed one by one by one by one. Even though I think I, I should say that it must have a cost center at first place because if customer is putting the cost center and cost center, cost center does not exist, then it can be problematic. Or maybe cost center is part of some other other um, module. Now let's come to the user part because that is a little important. <clears throat> Company, you can do the same manner and the user. Process is same, but what is the table name of the user? Here you can see. I want to create a user in my system. So I need user ID. Now it depends that what type of structure, what type of format you are following in your company. Is your user ID is containing only name like this? Atul dot Grover. Or you you are having a user ID like eighty G. Some numbers are there like this. It's up to you that what type of functionality you are following it. Then I need a first name, last name. I need title. I need department. See, a buyer department. I need their email ID. Preferred languages. But if you see by default or out of the box service now don't put any validation here. If I click on the submit now, it will create a record for me blank record. So you can tell to the customer boss. I need at least these three field. I need user ID, first name, last name, email ID and department. If you want, you can give me the phone number as well. So if you want, you the user ID is provided by the uh, client or we client only. make client a only. If they don't have any concept called the user ID. Then you can say OK, let have a format here. I can create it for first name dot last name is your user ID will be there. So you can create it manually. Uh, yes. one, uh, um, one thing is that that call center is uh, governed by that uh, stakeholders. I think means they will give the uh, allocated budget and other things can be defined on that basis. Right. And uh, second thing is that for the users uh, uh, means what happened? We will give them some set of requirements. For example, we'll uh, download a one Excel or XML file in that case and mm -hmm. share with the users so that they can, uh, you know, like uh, collect and uh, provide the data in cert certain ways where we can upload by the LDAP uh, requirement. Oh, I'll, I'll, the... I hold it here. What do you mean by the user here? Uh, users like uh, uh, whatever the users they are uh, assigned to the groups and uh, they, they have some defined roles. Then uh, those they go. 
यहां पे ना वी हैव टू वेरी क्लियर ऑन अवर टर्म्स वेन आई से यूजर मीन्स आर यू रेफरिंग टू द एक्चुअल यूजर्स फॉर गुड टू बी यूजर सिस्टम और यू आर रेफरिंग टू द स्टेक होल्डर or my customer to whom i am sending this excel sheet and say guys please fill this data so that i can put in the service now kyunki yeah. the the concept you are saying user is little different the the only thing is that i am not preferring the xml because user can or my customer can get it from the previous tool and give it to me yeah but problem that is, is uh... that may contain the garbage data yeah I give a simple example. Let's say you are staying in a two-bedroom house, okay, and you purchase a four-bedroom house now. Next month mm -hmm. you are shifting to the four-bedroom house, okay, and you are staying in this old house more than ten years now, okay. Yeah. Now when you shift into the new house, will you bring all the old or garbage data with you in the new house? No. Definitely no. Why not? Because at all it's because a new house, right? Yeah. The garbage, the old thing which is not working, I can I can put it here and put it in the garbage only, right? Otherwise, there is no no problem for the space. You can keep all the garbage in the new house as well for the four in the four BHK, right? But still, you are saying, at all why should I take garbage? I will keep only those things. Which are working condition. The same concept goes here. Why you want to the bring the users who already left the company more than five years, more than eight years now? Why you want to bring that record in the system? It will not bring, but uh, by using the LDAP, uh, it will be man easy to manage for the real time basis. Uh, if someone I'll left the see, I'll, okay, let, let me answer you on that particular part. Now. Come, come to your point only. LDAP, I agree, and I already say that we can bring the data from AD system. That is LDAP. Okay. But now imagine again the same thing. You are in the four bedroom house. You purchase it for the one CR. Okay. Do you have a capacity now to get a new bed furniture immediately? अतुल नहीं है इतने तो नहीं है आई वेट टिल दिवाली एंड देन आई ब्रिंग इट लेट्स हैव लेट यूज फॉर सम द ओल्ड फर्नीचर ओनली बाय दिवाली विल रिप्लेस एवरीथिंग व्हाई बिकॉज व्हेन वी इंप्लीमेंटिंग एनी सिस्टम न्यूली इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी दैट यू कैन डू द इंटीग्रेशन ऑन द डे वन डे वन पे कहीं इंटीग्रेशन नहीं होता इमिडिएटली एलडेप इज आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स बट नाउ Almost companies are using the Microsoft Azure, which is required, which is not coming out of the box by service now. If it is a LDAP, it is out of the box. But now, if Microsoft Azure, they are using it for the or a cloud platform for the ADs, then it's required a complete integration, which is not possible on the day one. So on the day one live, every company use the this method only, manual uploads, and then in the background we start working to bring it from the held tomorrow if 200 people joining my company across the world i can't create their account so better to bring them from the aldeb and then we do the integration there so it is a maturity journey i i can 100% agree with you atul why are you doing this manual part why can't we do the aldeb but on the day one but what about the certification sorry Uh, Atul, what uh, will it not create any data duplication because manual will do and then integrated? No, no. Because when we do this integration, we will write up the our code that if user ID is already exists, if user is already exists, don't bring that. Only update that. Oh. By in your new house, you will get a new bed only when you sold out or you throw the old bed, right? Tabi jaga banegi na. Only then you can bring it newly, and then the same thing will happen here as well. Clear or doubt up, everybody. Dinesh, Sumit, Basim, Anish. Yes, uh, yeah, clear. Good. So now this is what 
is the user record. Same thing you can do here. You can go and you can download the this thing Excel template. Please, please, please don't create this Excel manually. Atul, you don't feel the grain. Don't do this part. Go in service and download this thing because maybe you write a name. Let's say I someone will write first name as a F underscore name and someone will write first name as a first underscore names. So that the system will create a problem later on. So better go and download the Excel format from service now. And see. Total. 45 fields are there in my user table. Now what information basic information you need you can ask highlight and ask the customer to be give it. Active true. ठीक है सिटी छोड़ दो कंपनी छोड़ दो कॉल सेंटर छोड़ नहीं पता मुझे अभी पुट द डिपार्टमेंट पुट द ईमेल आईडी पुट द एम्प्लॉई नंबर द फर्स्ट नेम पुट जेंडर होम नंबर प्रीफिक्स एट इज दी इंफॉर्मेशन दो ताकि बेसिक रिकॉर्ड्स तो क्रिएट हो जाए मैनेजर मिडिल नेम मोबाइल फोन नोटिफिकेशन व्हाट यू नो यू कैन आस्क द कस्टमर टू बी टेल बाकी डेटा हम बाद में फिक्स कर सकते हैं कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं बट एटलीस्ट Need a basic and useful data so that customer can log in and can start working service now. Once you get this data, then you can use the same manner. Either you can use it from here, upload that Excel sheet will work, or you can go here and do the guided setup. Same thing. Transfer map and do the things. And this is coming from the information from the user table. Sys underscore user. It's a table name. Same way we will go for the group and group role, group member. Sorry. And then we assign the role. Every format you can get it from the service. Now I'm I'm intentionally telling you don't don't. Create this Excel sheet by yourself manually. Don't create because if you if you read about or if you watch my previous video of the transfer map, you will come to know that why I'm avoiding. I said, okay, Anish, create a Excel sheet to get the user data. Anish says, okay, let's say this is created by Anish. Okay, F underscore name, L underscore name. I said, Vasim created. Vasim created. First name, last name. I said Dinesh created. This is first underscore name, last underscore name. And I said to go there again. Sumit, Sumit created. Sumit created. First underscore names. अब बताओ फोर पीपल फोर डिफरेंट कॉलम नेम्स वैल्यू इज गोइंग टू बी फिक्स बट इफ यू अपलोड दिस थिंग इन एक्सल शीट सिस्टम विल नॉट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज एफ अंडरस्कोर नेम सिस्टम विल अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट अंडरस्कोर नेम इसीलिए टू अवॉइड दिस पार्ट बिकॉज इन द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन मैप वी हैव अ फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी टू डू द ऑटो मैपिंग ऑफ द फील्ड फ्रॉम एक्सेल टू Service now target tables, and if you use the out of the box table or format, no need to be worry about the spellings or the column names. That's not out of your problem. This is what is the fundamental here. Now one thing has been left that how these are interrelated. Do I have any sheet? No. I guess I have one format, but I deleted. How these are interrelated means how a user related with the company. Okay, let let discuss this part as well. <clears throat> so here, what we can say that I have a user. Okay, let me come back. I have a company. A company has 
many users. Agree? Yes or no? Yeah. Take a paint me. Okay. problem is with the link. Okay. A company has a many users, so it is a one to many relationship. Agree. Now a user. Work for the department. It is one to one relationship. To give Anish cannot work more than one department. Practically, he cannot work. Right, but a department can have a many users. One to many relationship. Clear or they go. This is the important part. You you reach out to the customer and customer says, hey, Anish is working in finance and the legal department. Sorry, I can't store this data. Because I can store only one department. For a one one user. But Anish is working the two departments, not possible. Either create two different IDs for Anish to track it. But us case may do employees. It means you are validating the process. Ground level PAP current, that's fine, but on the system level, I can't configure it. Now, you, sorry, user and group. A user can be part of many groups and reverse. Group and user. Many groups can contain many users. They will get the but if users a group, then one user has many groups. But if you have groups, user then it has a band to band relationship. Or we can say like this as well. Many to many relationship. Many users can be part of many groups, and many groups can contain many users. Group and role. One group can contain many rules. And role to group. Many rules can be assigned to the many groups. Sorry, one role to be assigned to the many groups. Like admin rule can be assigned to to the group A, group B, group C, group D. Then group and the member. Now same thing. Location and user. It will go like this user and location. A user has a one to one relationship with the location. Anish base location is Madrid. Dinesh base location is Copenhagen. I can travel to any other location for the work, but my base location will be one only. This is what the important relationship we have to be remember it. That how these things work. Because I know that a group can contain many users. Many users can be part of many groups. A user can have one role or a user can have many rules. This is, this is important point here and this is what the consulting come into the picture guys. Customer to base there. If, let's say if customer says this thing. Department. Let's say customer says department HR and IT. And you also start putting this data in the service now. Then what, what is purpose to having you in the system? Your, your work to make sure to verify this data completely. And then you can raise the red flag boss. It is not possible. 
it is either you put hr either you put it can i have two email id not possible can i have two user id for a single employee not possible because relationship in here and believe me believe me there are customers who are new to service now and they have this problem i work for a customer they were using some different tool earlier and in their tool they have a policy that they can reopen any incident even though incident get closed and when we are migrating them to service now they have a same requirement atul in service now we need that after closing of incident we can reopen it i said no not possible better don't go for the service now keep it on the excel sheet or keep in your old tool why because this is a process violation this is a itil process violation here this is a platform violation here we give them a facts and the figures we show them why it is important don't open any incident which get closed then they agree and now they are using service now completely they purchase 21 modules from us to implement in service now itsm item little bit on the item part as well it was five years contract we got that time this is what you and me need to do the consulting that how the system has been built up one yahan pe so we have a user user is assigned to the group and group has a role here we Absolutely. never just just one minute sorry we never assign a role to the user directly never ever we always assign role to a group and then add user into the group yes anish go ahead so one thing by chance you already asked me right now like i was supposed to ask you that role assignment is on the level of the okay which you answered and second thing what would be the work around like in case the client says like uh, they have the structure like the the person belongs to hr and it so work practically work around that we do in this and practically it is not possible practically it is not possible once a man get married is it like we assign him to a new uh, group role like hr group role or something but usse but but what will be going to happen they are talking on the department level not on the role level okay then you can say okay that's fine if you want create a new id maybe dummy id you want you can create it and use it i have no issues but practically the possible nahi hai na interim can be done but interim cannot be recorded see this is that is what i'm saying this is a foundation data kabhi aisa hua hai ki that your manager says anish we are promoting you what happened we are promoting you after 7 months but now you can call yourself as a deputy manager aisa hoga hi nahi kabhi you can call yourself as a deputy manager but are they going to be changing the system are they changing, going to be changing the tool never before 7 months it will get changed only after 7 months when the official date get announced this is what we are here for the consulting otherwise why we need a business analyst why we need a business process consultant on the place apna our day to day work is only that only get a good data get a good format good a good excel put it in tell to the customer inform the customer guide the customer educate the customer otherwise if you're not able to do this part we are not getting the value which we discuss on the day one and this garbage in garbage out is very important there is a lot of customer i face in the beginning they says atul upload this data i said are you sure give me the written sign off that we are happy to go ahead to upload this data they give me sign off we implemented 
and again in one month they came back my data my user is not able to see the phone number department is not correct and all these things are not there boss you gave me this information i ask you please verify i work for a customer where they take two months to correct their user data before they bring in the service now can you imagine i have these those customers as well simple so this is what is the foundation data perspective what i want get your pdis and at least go to these tables one by one and understand so if if i come back here for a minute let's say i go to the tables yeah this underscore user table right open this this is what another homework for you scroll down and click on the schema map this will tell you that how the table you are looking for is related with the other tables to whom it is referencing and what what other tables are refer to this particular table like on the incident form we have a color field that color is coming from the user table only show referencing which this table is referencing kahan kahan se field is table mein aa rahe hain schema is important when we go for the incident and all we see the schema to understand that where this incident field is getting called this incident table is getting called and who are calling this incident table दो चीजें हैं यू आर इनवाइटेड और यू आर इनवाइटिंग इट्स इट्स टू बिग इट टेकिंग टाइम टू बी लूड बट दैट विल गिव यू लिटिल पिक्चर दैट हाउ दिस यूजर टेबल गेट यूज सो इफ यू टेक वन मोर चेकबॉक्स यू कैन सी लेफ्ट साइड एंड राइट साइड दैट हाउ दिस टेबल इज गेटिंग you will share this what clear yahan tak doubt question clarification dinesh sumit wasim and anish uh, <coughs> sir uh, a department could have any uh, uh, groups right one one department department could have a Many groups. Ah, groups can be there, right, right, right. Department yeah. like HR department has a group called HR talent acquisition, HR finance that you can do. But groups, see, department don't have a group. Users are part of that groups. Department to stand alone hai. Department members can be part of many groups. Okay, so in the practical case, we create groups separately. We yes. Check the, so that is if you see now okay it's loading now half has been loaded so if you see here right after department we create user group group member and the role ab is your group member coming from this user table and this user may part of any other department here and then these members have a these many roles so it's it's like a cycle so that is i'm saying that today when you start looking into this part let me see if it is working it's still loading it this x this particular format will help you to understand that how this has been called let me see if i can get atul if there is no uh, pre existing notion uh, with the clients like they do not have any groups then we create groups by consulting them Are you repeating the question? If they don't have any groups, like they don't have any notion of creating groups. Practically, or yes. Then definitely, that is the reason we are here. We can guide them. Okay. Mm. 
this is what i'm so thinking. service now might have the template for groups also like uh, what short of groups uh, should we create see again when we uh, purchase service now as the official uh, for our client we never get okay. we never recommend to get the demo data this is my pdi so if you go here and you can put user admin and you can put the groups this is the demo data have is given to us but if if they don't have anything you can say okay what what so now now your work become more responsible here you can tell okay tell me that do you have any any group where people just work on the incident change and problem servidus yes okay there it means there is a group called the servidus do you have dedicated incident managers yes create one group from that do you have dedicated for change management yes do you have dedicated care management yes so then you have to be create this groups one by one but practically if i am saying at current point of time almost every customer has a basic setups maybe in the excel sheet maybe in some xyz tool but they have a sample format you can help them to enhance that nahi are taking lot of time actually okay dekho load to hua but it's too much actually because user table is used a lot of places okay whether it's loading now it's still not fully loaded because it's showing half part okay this thing चलिए ऑल क्लियर नाउ डाउट क्वेश्चन क्लेरिफिकेशन हाय अतुल वन क्विक क्वेरी डू यू आई मीन कैन यू गो टू द एलएनजी एनवायरनमेंट इन द योर पीडीआई आई जस्ट वांट वांट टू हैव क्लेरिफिकेशन ऑन द अदर यस हियर व्हेन यू गो टू द डिपार्टमेंट हाउ आई मीन आई मिस्ड वन पार्ट हाउ हाउ यू ट्राई टू इंपोर्ट i mean you, you got the excel file right okay um, so for that you have to be click on this configure con okay and then you have to be upload that excel sheet yes this is this is the complete concept called the transform map transform map yes yes no the excel template that you got okay how okay how to get that excel template yes yes okay go to any table right click on that column name click on the import and click create excel template with the insert as selected okay then you will get all the fields of that particular table okay i got it okay got it okay uh yes one more part uh, can you go back now sure. uh, uh one more time Uh, you see when you go to the uh, go to the particular table let's say department table you see uh, there is a department table name right that name is displayed uh, beside the table uh, actual name right the table property name so that is 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 there something that you enable okay. yes here here you see sys sys user group right the groups ah, you okay, you okay, see okay. this one right so do, yes do you enable it no 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 so this is uh, there there is a concept or not concept there is a extension called sn utils okay utils. okay it's so plugin it, kind of thing it's an extension chrome extension extension okay okay this one so if you activate this extension for your pdi you can get a lot of information without going into the table level mainly okay. this sn util helping to my developer perspective because the developer did not work on the name they work on this background name correct yes right so if you are a developer you can't go back in the table again and again and find out what is the column name so sn util help me to do this particular part so if you see here if i double click on this see this is coming because i have a sn util i can enter the value here as well or i can enter the value a.b@c.com okay. like this is like this it's merely for the development perspective how uh, how can we get that uh, sn util go to chrome put okay. a uh, put a sn util extension 
it will get installed. So you'll see it okay. here. Okay. So like you want to see the table fields. Click here. All the table fields are available here. But it is advisable to use in our, our, yes. our work environment. Yes, yes. Why not? That is what I'm saying that even though we are consultant. But sometimes we have to be do little little POCs coding as well. So who will go in the background? Put it everything here. I shared in my work location, but no one can get agreed to that. So that is some, the reason again. Again, it's it's something sometime what happened that it is not allowed in the customer instances to be used. Mm -hmm. I I have this experience in one of my customers say no. We I was trying to be add this extension and I got an error. You can't add an extension there. Okay. But and I thought one thing, uh, one thing is that like uh, yesterday we have discussed uh, now create and today we have discussed uh, about this idea, idea some guide setup. So how we can correlate uh, both the concept and uh, you know like if we go and walk into a company uh, where we want to set up all those uh, things. So how we can? Okay. Uh, should we do the paperwork and? Um, no, no. Now create will give you a map to proceed further. Okay. Earlier what happened when there was no mobile phone kind of things, how people travel, they have a big map sheet with them, right? Full map, the, the people carry, like the people who go for the tracking and all the things, they keep a map, paper map, and they see, okay, I'm here now, I have to be go this, this, this particular way. Okay, so now create will give you a map to proceed further that how you can show customer that what you're looking for. That is the information documentation part. Then once you've done that part, then you can take the customer to the tool. You can go if, if you let's say you come to you go to the customer side and you start talking about service. Now we have a user, we have a group, we have a, we have a uh, department all things and the last what customer will say. OK, Nish, give me the format that how to share the data with you. And do you have any, any guidelines around this? Any best practices around this? Any format around this? Any documentation around this? So that I can send to my people, they can fill it. Then you can go to the now create. So generally, we go theory, then we go for the practical part. So now create will give a foundation to the customer in the written format. Tabhi to presentation so thi, otherwise the presentation ka kaam hi khatam ho jai. And then we show them, in a platform. So they go both hand in hand. It's not like a one part done, then second started. No, they go both hand in hand. Because sometimes we can't show everything on the tool. We can see some screen show some screenshots, some processes on the presentation format only. Clear Anish now? Yes. Okay. Chile, let's stop the recording and take attendance now.